get ready to create a whole dynamic space scene with nothing but a mouse and a few stock images. Hello, I'm Abby Esparza with Envato Touch Plus and today we'll be putting together a vibrant and lively space art photo effect. No digital painting skills required. We'll be using some out of this world nebula graphics from Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of design assets, stock images, and fonts with Envato Elements. Millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing. And you can cancel anytime. Subscribe now with the link in the description. Let's start by making a new 3000 by 2000 pixel document, setting the background color to black. Create a new layer set to hard light and paint in some soft areas of light using a gray blue color. You can set your brush to a low flow rate to really help build up the light um, slowly. Let's repeat that same technique on a layer set to normal and using three to four different vibrant colors. Now let's create a, another new layer and press D to set the foreground background colors black and white. Select the lasso tool and set the feather to a whopping 150 pixels. And then make a selection in the middle of the canvas. Go to filter, render, clouds. Now let's change the layer mode to color dodge. Next, let's use a levels adjustment layer clipped into the new clouds to darken them. On the layer mask, use a soft round brush set to black to bring back some of the cloud's light, just in certain areas. Duplicate and place it above all current layers. Go to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds. Now select Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and change the radius to 35 pixels. Make a color balance adjustment layer set to negative 58 red and 54 blue to adjust the cloud's colors. Time to make some stars. Create a new layer and change the brush's color to a light powder blue. With a hard round brush, paint random stars all over the canvas. You can change the brush's settings to help vary the shape and size, focusing on upping the size jitter and scatter. Once happy with the stars, double click their layer, choose outer glow, and set the color of the glow to white, as well as the other settings seen here. Now let's create a curves adjustment layer on top of everything else we have so far, and bring down the blue curve, giving everything a bit of a hint of yellow. So let's drag and drop the nebula graphic onto our main canvas. Go ahead and adjust the size as needed. When happy, change the layer mode to Linear Dodge. Add a mask to the nebula and use a soft black brush to mask out large portions of the graphic, helping it blend in. We'll be finishing up the space background by clipping a color balance layer into the nebula and adjusting the settings. Try a green of 46 and a blue of 51 or so. You can always save these results as a PNG file for future use. You can even whip up a few of these bad boys and make your very own custom space background pack. For now, let's just group all of our space background layers, adding a mask to the group. Let's mask out the edges of the background, creating an almost vignette effect. Then create a new layer, set to soft light, and brighten the background's inner area using white. Now we get to create a planet. Here I have a planet texture. You can find the exact link in the description. I already also removed any lines and imperfections using the clone tool. We are going to use the elliptical marquee tool to make a circle. Choose an interesting area. This will be the surface of our planet. With the area selected, go to filter distort sphere eyes. Add a layer mask to complete the planet base. 
Next, using image adjustments, hue saturation, bring the saturation down to negative 87. Create and clip a curves adjustment layer and decrease both the highlights and brightness, using a mask to bring back some of the light just around the edges of the planet, keeping the middle dark. Next, create and clip a color balance adjustment layer, setting it to red, negative 32, green, 11, and blue, 32. Finish up by creating and clipping a new layer into the planet, setting the layer mode to soft light. Paint some pale blues and pinks using a large fluffy round brush. We want to bring some of the colors of the background onto our planet. Now let's copy our planet to create moons. Make sure to change their angles, flipping them vertically and horizontally, so they look less copy-pasted. Once happy, group the moons together and add some shadows using both a normal and soft light layer. Create and clip a hue saturation adjustment layer into the moon group and bring the saturation value down to negative 86. Again, finally use a color balance adjustment layer to change the moon's color. Red negative 54 and blue 31 will get you a nice blue tone. Create a new layer, set the soft light above the planet and moon groups and use a soft brush to paint pastel blues and pinks on the planet's outer edges. We are focusing on the upper left and top of the planet. We want the middle of the planet to remain dark. Now let's make a new curves adjustment layer and increase the highlight. On its layer mask, use a soft black brush to reduce the brightness towards the bottom of the planet, moons, and space. We are keeping them shrouded in shadow. Open up an image of some spaceships and place them on the canvas. Duplicate the ships and rotate them to add a few more. Group the ships together, then use a clipped hue saturation adjustment layer to desaturate the spaceships negative 92. Create and clip a color balance adjustment layer set to negative 50 red and 47 blue into the group, turning them blue as well. Use a curves adjustment layer and a mask to darken the bottoms of the spaceships. Once happy with the shadows, repeat the same steps, but with the highlights. Hit the highlights one last time with a layer set to overlay and a brush set to white. You can decrease the layer's opacity if the highlights are a bit too strong or skip this step altogether. Do the same process as the ships in order to add some asteroids. You can also add some bigger asteroids to the front of the canvas, blurring them using Gaussian Blur for some quick and easy depth. Make a new layer and take a hard brush set to pale pink. Add some small dots of lights onto the ships. Let's create a new layer and use a soft round brush to create a spot on the canvas. A dark mauvey pink should work well, though feel free to experiment with different colors. Resize the brush a few sizes down and choose a lighter version of whichever color you chose. Now let's convert that layer to a smart object and use Ctrl T to change its perspective. stretching it to look like a long light trail, and placing it behind a ship. Go ahead and duplicate that light trail several times and add the trails to the other ships.
Finally, create a new layer set to color dodge and paint one last bright point of light coming from each ship's engine. You can bump up the highlights of the overall image, especially the top left of the planet using a curves layer. And then we are all done. If you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any and all new videos. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Test Plus has to offer. I'm Abby Esparza, see you next time.